Okay, I call this project Melting Red Dirt with a Large Fresnel Lens. It's to answer a question I had of can affordable and sustainable housing be created using locally available materials such as red dirt, which we have an abundance of in this area. The inspiration for this project came after watching a science show about Massimo Moretti and his Italian wasp world's advanced saving project. I was fascinated with this work, 3D printing mud basically. He apparently was inspired by mud daubers, a type of wasp that use mud to construct their nests. I realize that we have both mud daubers and an abundance of red dirt in this part of South Carolina. Ultasols, which I'd actually never heard of, heard of before, uh, I think it was in Wikipedia where I was reading about what they call, or it's just a name for red clay type material. This is common in Southern United States and it's certainly common in this area. So the idea is can solar energy be used to fabricate a structure by melting red dirt into a type of ceramic or brick and do it with minimal to no additional materials or energy other than the sun. This is a sketch of the basic concept. The system below automatically rotates and operates as a mechanical automaton when the sun is shining and weather permits. Here we have a threaded pole which allows the system to incrementally move up with each rotation. This is a solar powered gear motor of some sort. This is a large Fresnel lens or some other type of solar concentrator. Over here uh, Matt, this is uh, showing a red dirt surface where we cleaned it, uh, gotten rid of the topsoil grass, that sort of thing. And this, in this case, the red dirt is automatically excavated, and this excavator can move in and out, up and down as necessary. Um, and the excavated red dirt is deposited in thin layers with every rotation. Over here, the red dirt is fused into a ceramic in thin layers and in other words could is this possible i mean it's, it seems to be great sun shining this thing just works by itself and build something for you some type of a cone or beehive type of structure so uh, i did a couple of experiments um, with a large fresnel lens and what i'm going to do next is show you a little bit about what a mud dauber's nest looks like, uh, uh, in case you're curious, and then uh, the Fresno lens work. Thank you. See, we've got a old mud dauber's nest <clears throat> and a brand new typical wasp nest right next to each other. Okay, I'm going to show you what I call mud dauber's nest looks like. Some people call them dirt daubers. See that clay up there in that framework in the metal building? That's a regular wasp nest. Um, see, there's one over here. Sometimes it's sort of like what people call organ pipes. I normally leave them alone, and they don't normally mess with me. That's a regular wasp nest. But sometimes they get to be a mess and cause problems. And for this, I'm going to get one of them down. We'll look inside of it and see what's in there. Probably get that one right there. If you look closely in this mud dauber's nest, there's a remains of a spider. There's another one. So what I read apparently is true. These mud daubers, dirt daubers, sting spiders, paralyze them, put them in these uh, casings for their larvae to have something fresh to eat when they uh, apparently uh, start to uh, grow up. Kind of grotesque, but my interest is these nests. It's fascinating how they can use natural materials and build something like that. They always build them inside or under an overhang. They're not very water resistant, but uh, that's where this idea of using red dirt came from for sustainable housing. Try to get a little bit closer there. Okay, it's May 26th, 
six miles south of carolina super hot today i've got a uh, 18 inch fresnel lens it's this right here hopefully you can see that um by the way one side is embossed the other side smooth i found out it works better if the smooth side is down like towards the ground um, you can actually use it both ways but to get a better focus like this but what i wanted to do is see if we could uh cook a little red dirt which we have an abundance of as you can see in this construction project we have i'm just going to throw a board down there it's getting pretty hot the, it's not the ideal focal size that's a little better could probably be angled a little bit differently it's about three o'clock in the afternoon so it's not the best time but what i'm going to do is go ahead and throw a little red dirt down there now i don't know if you can see it but i got this welder's mask on because the uh that gets pretty intense looking at it so i'm just going to scoop up a little red dirt put it down there see what it'll do to it Well, you can see it looks like the organic matter in the red dirt probably cooking a little bit. The idea was to see if there's any way you could use a common, commonly available material, which in this part of the country is there's an abundance of what we call red dirt or red clay. It's got a lot of sand in it. And see if you could possibly fuse that into a brick or something useful just using solar energy so i'm gonna let that set for a minute and i might try to manually move the lens around to focus a little bit better and see if that helps this is not the best time of day it's about three o'clock there it goes Okay, I know you probably can't see it in the iPhone camera. That's what I'm using to take this. But it is boiling up the, the dirt. It's obviously melting it. I'll see if I can get a picture of that. I got a spare welding lens here. I'm a little afraid about ruining the camera and the iPhone. We'll see here if we can get a picture of that. I don't. And there's no question. I'm going to take the lens away. You should see it's still glowing orange. Like a little glass bead there. Still hot enough to catch this stick on fire. Probably will melt this into a glassy like material. Could you make anything out of it? Could you make bricks this way? I don't know. Probably impractical. But you can melt red dirt. Hope we can see that in this. Skip over here. Turn that over. If you've looked at uh, my old videos, you can see where I've got an interest in just about everything that's scientific or technical in any way, shape, or form, from robotics to uh, to solar energy to, to whatever. Uh, I really love solar energy because it's so simple. Once you set something up, like these solar panels, they require very little maintenance. I've got one of my older videos, I show beaver dam water wheels I put back there. Actually an Army Corps of Engineer approved project. Um, but 
flash floods, all these giant rainstorms we're having keep washing out. Big hassle. Sun panels just keep sitting there. So I like the idea of using something like the sun, whether it's through a Fresno lens or something else, some kind of simple automatic device that could just work when the weather's good and the sun's out, making something, some kind of useful structure. Affordable, sustainable housing uh, is definitely something we all should be working towards. And I admire the guys at uh, WASP over there in Italy of what they're doing. I think that's really great. And that's actually what inspired me to, to work on this project. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you get a chance, uh, like us and uh, subscribe and, and look at some of our older videos. Thank you.